Good evening, and welcome back to Cosmeteer. My name is Pooks, and tonight we're continuing on with our Iron Man Admiral difficulty playthrough of Cosmeteer. So, uh, without any further ado, we're just going to go load up the stream from this afternoon. Uh, it's just a mere five and a half hours ago. And yeah, we're going to be focusing tonight's stream on just gaining more fame. So I want to build the Ares, and I want to build it as soon as possible. And the main thing to do it is having enough crew to staff it at the moment. That's our limiting factor. So we're going to uh, be highlighting up the bounties that will give us uh, decent enough fame to, uh, to be able to do that. And it looks like the pack, then the fugitive, then the fugitive asteroid, renegade pack, and another renegade. We're gonna go pack. All right, this these are the bounties we want to clear. Uh, we do have the pirate bases, which would help, but um, basically I want to eliminate my eights before I move on to my nines, because my nines will still give me um, fame past when eight does or stops giving me fame, more to be to be more precise. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry. All right, uh, just t double checking. Here, I think I want the Trodoc to actually transfer some resources to the Owl before we depart in the form of missile parts. And I suspect the Trodoc might be needed. I know, no, it's good, it's good. We'll uh, just send the Owl back a little bit here. Load up on missile parts there. Make sure we've got plenty of ammo before we depart. It looks like the Trodox just gonna. Uh, it'll slowly start building this up, right? Maybe. It's really low on crew, so maybe it won't at all. That's alright. Uh, we can always recrew it as needed. So, if you caught the last stream, or you're watching this on the YouTube later, then you'll know that the Kestrel is a little bit slower now. It cannot keep up with our Owl here. Uh, but the Owl now has maneuverability. It can kind of dodge and weave a little bit better. Which is... Hey, Diggs! Glad to see you in the stream again. Welcome back, and a uh, good time to join as well. We're just at the start of this one. We're going to be trying to get famous so we can launch the Ares. But yeah, uh, this, the Owl has had an upgrade, so it's got some extra things. We don't have the crew to fully crew it yet, so it's not as efficient as it should be. But it will be, uh, it'll do a decent job. And the main reason why these are only firing off every so often is because the Kestrel uh, is too heavy. It is way too heavy to, to actually keep up. Anyway, let's go to 8 times speed, because I want to try and clear off these bounties as quick as possible. We're just going to keep going bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Unknown signal over there. There they are. We'll go 2 times while we accelerate in. The Kestrel can start moving off. Actually, I don't want the hour to get too far ahead. Uh, yep, now it can start coming in. That's a lot of guys. That is an awful lot of guys. Alright, we're going to set the missiles to just fire as they bear. And, yeah, they're all level 1s. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to mark that as number 2, that as number 1. So number 1... You're going to fire at this guy. Right. And then we're just going to let them come in a little bit more. We'll slow down to quarter speed. Number two, you're going to fire at this guy. And then the Kestrel can start rail fanning like so. The owl is just going to chill here. And because I want... Two shots to come out of the Kestrel here. One. Alright, we'll retarget number one, I believe that was. 
and make good, efficient use of the railgun rather than just blaming double shots at things that don't need it. You can see all these missiles are coming out and they are coming out at a rapid pace as well, which is exactly what I want to see from it. Uh, come on, Kestrel. You should have taken a shot by now. There we are, second shot out. Another one bites the dust. So number two can target this guy now. Number one railgun is already targeted on him, so we should see a second shot come out of the Kestrel in just a second. The owl is holding all the aggro. Here's our second shot. Didn't actually take him out, though. Uh, we will start fanning back the other direction. And the owl, with its missiles, can go focus on this guy. Alright, and also its disruptors, and eh, they can fire whenever. But what I might start doing with the owl is just tell him to strafe backwards a little bit. Uh, come on, Kestrel, fire as you bear, please. Off it goes with another shot. Another one down. I think that was our number two. I think number one. Number one? Oh, no, maybe. Mm. Must have been number one. Number two. What are you targeted at? And it nearly double, double whammed it. God knows. All right, so number two can go here, either way. Number one, you'll target at that. All right, so we want to fan back this way next. And I almost might want to start telling it to go backwards as well. And whichever rail is ready next, there we are. We had the toothpick down. And I think it's number one is still, no, number two is still targeted. Number one can go target this guy over here. Eek. Owl is backing up. It's sending its missiles in the correct direction now. Hopefully our own missiles don't take off our own stern here. That would be kind of awkward and embarrassing. We need to fan back the other way with the Kestrel. And I suspect the Owl will need to just start rotating like so uh, um, actually we'll focus on that I don't know which one was up next but it can also start moving forward or it can be this one I don't really mind which as long as another one dies Speed up the game a little bit. We'll keep backing off with the owl. Another one bites the dust. Oh, that's a pirate hunter. Okay, so we've got a serious contender here now as well as these guys. Which is not ideal, but can be dealt with. So this disruptors straight away need to start targeting... I think one is on the right hand side, yep. On the left hand side, other right. Uh, so we'll do that and that. And then our Kestrel is going to start moving in. The Haywire is actually going to ruin this guy's day a little bit, but not too badly. Alright, that's our primary target now as well with the Owl. You can see those cannons coming in and giving us a hard time, as well as those disruptors coming in and giving us a hard time. So we will set our missiles onto this guy as well, and I will test target this disruptor. I think that's really the most dangerous thing that we've got going on. In the meantime, 1 and 2 is going to start focusing on fire on this. The Kestrel needs to come down and basically go like that. Now should be good. 
Come on, Kestrel. Start rotating, man. Don't mind about this guy. He can't hurt you much. Oh, but he is going to mess with our targeting. That's a douche mood, man. That is a, not a cool move. Uh, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Rotate. Rotate. Damn it. There we are. All right. Uh, we should be good. These guys aren't hard. And there's only two of them left, so they can't really do too much. In the meantime, it looks like the owl's still tanking pretty well. I actually didn't see that guy coming up, so that's a bit awkward. We'll rotate back, just start fanning on that target. Alright, another one bites the dust. You can target on him, and you can also target on him. And just start trying to get your distance here. I don't mind if you shoot up the... Are you using point defense to shoot me? Really? Really, dude? That's oh, that's all you've got left. Uh, so you don't do too do. You didn't scratch the paint too badly. That's good. All right. So this should make it pretty darn easy. Boom. <laughs> like a little terrier. Yip, 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 boom. All right, we'll just rotate to get this last guy. And we'll start mucking up the Rex here. There it goes. Smack. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna double mark our rails, or mark our rails as double one now. Um, repair all on the Kestrel, and repair all on the Owl. Now, how is our ammo? ammo Hammock stop stops. <laughs> I can't speak. What's happened to me? Ammo stocks. We're not too bad. We're going to be a little bit below half from that engagement. I'm okay with that. Um, I think those missiles were well worth the, the payload in the end. And I'm not going to mark up each and every wreck as long as we've got a single W here. I think that should be sufficient. Cool. Uh, next target is whatever that unknown contact is over here. We're going to go investigate that. It looks like it is actually something. It could be a hyper jump beacon. Yep, it is. Oh, there's a big AU asteroid here too. We'll take the gold. And we're going to move on to the next target bounty. Uh, now, now that we've got that, I will have a chat to the station, just hand that in, because that will get me some fame. Um, I don't want to do any of those, um, but we will hire seven new crew members. Which means that these guys should actually start building up its ammo stocks again for us. Uh, and have some missiles to replenish the owl when we come back. Back to decent speed. And we'll cruise on here and look for some more trouble. Trouble has found us. Go to engage. Kestrel comes off to the side here. It's going to keep it at one speed because it won't be long. This guy is fast. Cruise down and what have we got? It is an Echo and he has a rail cannon. So our point defense can engage rail guns. They apparently are able to be deflected. It's just not great at it. Um, and you need a lot to take them out. And they run, they're really fast. So realistically, you want flak, I think, to be able to have any kind of, of a chance of doing it. Yeah, but look at, thing at this guy. What have we got? We've got a couple of disruptors. I think that rail may actually be our biggest challenge. So I'm going to set one and two to go after that. And 
and I don't think I'll launch missiles because I think the Kestrel will be able to come in on the side. Oh, we did take out that railgun. Nice. I mean, take out that, well, railgun? Rail round, I think is what we're after. Got to get my words right. Okay, so in terms of the Kestrel, it's going to try and aim in and take out this reactor, I think is going to be the way to go. So we'll send it down here and then we'll rotate. In the meantime, the owl is taking a little bit of a beating and it's going to start trying to drill through that armor. So we want to rotate, I think, to this angle. Should help a little. There we are. It's going to start taking it on the armor here rather than burrowing through to my shields. All right, the Kestrel is coming in. It's about at the right angle now, so I might just tell it to stop and then bear to target. And really bear to target. How are we doing here? We've got shields back up. That's good. I think we can rotate the other way. Kestrel didn't shoot. Why didn't the Kestrel shoot? Uh, apparently I had it targeted properly. Okay, okay, that's how it's going to be. Here we go now. That's a right target. Look at it lurch from that attack as well. It took a beating just then. Now I'm going to go for the other cockpit. I want to try and get these Fissiles. Um, I'm going to Tell, yep, you're now engaged to the target. You don't need to back off, dude. In fact, you can just keep up if you want. And just make sure that you're fanning. In the meantime, how's the hour doing? They continue to target down here. Having this rotated like this actually means that the cannon shots have a further to travel, I believe, as well. We've got more chance of actually intercepting them with point defense. It's not going to be a uh, cure-all by any means, but every little bit helps. Uh, so we're going to try and rotate so that we have... There we are. Got him. Nice, clean shot, preserving that reactor. Now the owl took a bit of a beating but not too badly, most of the damage was steel, so we're all good with that. Uh, nice, so another one down. We're gonna go after this fugitive and then go for the asteroid field after that. Uh, we will rotate the owl up. How's the ammo stock? I don't think I used any of the missiles then. No, I didn't. Uh, what I do wanna do though, is just move some of these guys over here and then move these so that they're as close to the door as possible. Same with this, we want a couple of rounds to be there. as close to the reload points as possible. Oh, oh, hang on. We got still got guys doing things. And we got incoming too. Is it there? Yep, yeah, we do have incoming. Ke Kestrel, rotate. Um, gonna just tell these guys to cancel what they were doing because we're going to need to take on this guy who is really keen to meet us. Uh, cannon ship, okay. I like the music here when start things start happening. We should be able to tear through its shields pretty easily. I'm just gonna leave the Kestrel to sit here. And yeah, thought as much, you're gonna try and rotate to take on the thing that's presenting a little bit of a fight at the moment. Then because you're doing that, you're going to be in for a world of hurt in a second. 
not even going to slow down the game. Actually, that may be a mistake, but it's my mistake to make, damn it. Got him. Very quick shot. So, that's why I don't want to rely on large shields too much, because they are stupidly, stupidly vulnerable to disruptors. And you end up with that sort of engagement where bad things happen. Mind you, that guy had a little bit of an oomph behind him, to be fair. And I'm actually going to dismantle him a little bit to uh, grab some of his goodies for repairs. How far did we get with a reallocation? I think pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah, that's all right, all right. So we've spread out those a little bit. And we should have dismantled this enough to repair, so everyone can go home now. Cool. We might... <laughs> just smashed all the bits out of the way. Uh, we might, after we take down this guy up here, want to go back for more missiles. We'll see how we go. Uh, you don't need to be quite so far ahead. I know you're fast now, but you just you don't need to show off. Just because he had a huge upgrade. Alright, here he comes. The Kestrel here and the Owl up a little. I don't think he's sensed this yet. Yeah, he has now. Alright, what do we got? It's a Saro. Yeah, pretty much the same thing that we just had before. So, the owl is going to engage her its normal modus operandi. Uh, the kestrel is going to be going after that rail. We will slow it down a little bit. I think just keeping it at full speed before was maybe a mistake. There's obviously something that was shoot... Ah, oh, cannons. Alright, I think the owl can start turning now. And just double checking that it is bearing. Yep, wasn't bearing on target, but it soon will. And it should be pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. Another one bites the dust. Uh, we do need a little bit, bit of copper coils because my pet point defenses take a little bit of beating these days. So we're just going to run up so we can repair those guys. And that'll take them apart, and hopefully we'll have enough coils now. Nope. Take some more apart, boys. Uh, those are hyper coils. I think those will have it. Crew quarters won't. Ah, oh, small shield generators usually have heaps. That should be enough. There we go. Beautiful. Now, we didn't have to use missiles, so I'm comfortable trying to just see what's in this asteroid belt over here. Hate Twitch notification. Uh, yeah. I think sometimes just not realizing as well, you're on your, you know, you see it come up on your phone. But hey, welcome back to the stream for the second time today, Anthony. Good to see you again. What have we got? We got a flak cannon ship. That's kind of interesting. And then missiles as well. All right, we'll send in the owl. The Kestro is going to come off to the side here. I'm kind of curious to know what this does to... Oh, that AoE. That AoE could be deadly. All right. So, Kestro, I want you doing some bad, bad things to these guys because they're bad, bad guys. Um... 
The reactor is actually the most vulnerable on this ship, I think. I'm not going to bother with missiles because these are flat cannons and they're going to basically take those down. And they're all targeting this wing, so we might have the unfortunate thing of losing a wing in a second. Cancel here, bear on target, and the target... Uh, that's going to be armor. I need something to blow a big bloody hole through it. Their crew... No, that's ammo factories. Ammo factories are explosive. Alright, we'll slow down because I might need to adjust things here. Yeah, we're going... We're melting through this armor up here. That AOE function. Got a shield back up and running. That's good. But uh, this second shield is probably going to take it on the chin, so we are going to tell him to rotate a little bit. The Kestrel needs to continue to bear because it's going forward while we're going backwards. It's a closer range ship. And we should see some railguns shoot in a second. Yep. Kestrel, you better not be out of ammo. Something silly like that. That would be bad. There we are. One and two. Yes, we have taken out their ammo, which is most of their offensive power gone. Ammo factories are great to have against your uh, flat cannons and that sort of thing in terms of supply, but they are explosive, and explosive things are bad. Uh, Kestrel Mark Three, you don't want to do that. You just want to stay at current bearing, current. Oh, yeah, we have lost a wing. That's unfortunate. Uh, just keep tilting a little bit, Al, please. Try and keep that wing away. Shield your wounded, wounded wing, man. Uh, we don't want to let it get to that reactor. Uh, we've got an engine on fire. We've got a compartment on fire. We might actually see if we can tell their guy. Dude, if you can get out of there, get, uh, no, you can't go anywhere, can you? You're uh, you're gonna burn to a crisp. I'm sorry, man. I did all I could for you. Uh, we'll keep bearing, keep rail fanning. There we are. Another couple of rail guns, and he's down. That was unfortunate. Right. So rail, uh, not rail guns. Uh, flak cannons are the enemy here. And we can at least repair these guys. Get some of this. Yeah, insufficient resources there. That's no surprise. Alright, so before we continue on our bounty hunt, we will have to go back and repair the owl a bit. Turreted cannon slash lasers should become part of the base games. It's nice having laser cannon firing with their turret versions right behind it. Yeah, um, turret versions, I think, are awesome of in here. They're almost OP considered, considering. Even if you had like a lighter version of turret, um, turret weapons would be kind of nice. As in, you're going to sacrifice some, maybe some um, firepower but you get the, the safety or the tankability. But what stuffed us up there basically is um, those flat cannons. Uh, they were bad for us. Ooh, we got some missile parts, that's nice. We can replenish our ammo as well. Possibly I should have filed my, fired my missiles as well, just to give those flat cannons something else to target. That might have been the better call. I uh, don't have the resources. 
yeah, we're going to have to RTB to uh, to fix this fully. That's fine. I think Kestra was at full. Yep. All right, guys, you can uh, zoom on home. Nice, the owl can go in for repairs. It's gonna cost us a little bit of money, unfortunately, because we haven't done some mining for a bit. But that's okay, we'll have a chat to this guy. We'll get some fame. I'm gonna save this one up because I wanna use up my level eight missions first before I go and use a seven to nine for fame purposes. Um, we can hire a lot more crew. Hmm. We're gonna do that. We are going to have a nearly fully crewed owl while we can. Granted, some of that will go to the Aries later on. Uh, just double check the Kestrel is fully crewed. But that will help out a little bit in terms of the owl's combat performance. I'm also going to see did the Trodoc end up making us uh, missiles? It did. So we'll transfer those over. And we have another case of a ship just crashing into the station forever. So uh, we might just get the Kestrel to do a bit of a, a run through them. Go straight ahead, man. Full Engines full ahead. Get this guy out of here. There we are. You are not pushing my station away from me, sir. We've had that happen already. Okay, so we should have full missiles now on this. Why don't we... Ah, okay. So I'm just going to slow it down and we're going to reassign some people. So you, sir, there. You, sir, there. You, sir, there. You, sir, there. And the more important position is actually going to be there as well. So we just grab everyone here. Make sure that they're full. And the same deal over here. Yeah, four, two, two, cool. We want energy suppliers to be the main thing. Cool. All right, we'll turn the owl around, get the Kessler around. And we're gonna head to this asteroid field here. So what's these still guys still give me fame, please? Ah, no longer get fame from this. Okay. No longer level eights are make us famous. So we will hand in that pirate hunter, because why not? We don't have anything to lose anymore. We have another mission to contact a local station, uh, which is over here. And we've got a pirate base down there. Uh, so that's level eight, that's level eight, that's level eight. We could continue to do level eights, or we could go for the fame route. Now, I'm inclined to actually go for the fame route uh, because that's going to be basically it's going to be faster progress if we can get some more crew first, and then we can clean up the level eights later on if we're passing by, passing by or whatever. So we'll park the Kestrel just off to the side of the owl. Or we'll form it up to the side of the owl, I should say. And make our way over to this station over here. Alright, we do have a signal on the way. I think that's probably worth checking out because it's most likely a bounty of some description. And we might as well complete things on the way. Uh, we do have a pirate coming in from the north. We want to turn away from that. I don't think we get anything from killing pirates at this point of view. And we just got to be really careful here to not end up with a pirate up our ass. This looks like a single bounty mission, and he's going off. Yep, that's cool. All right, what have we got? We have one of these guys. I don't think we've had one of these. What is it? A rapid. A 
Okay, sir. Well, I just want to be just in range here. And we're going to send number one this way and number two this way. You know what? We're going to focus on just this side. Oh, okay. Um, my mic should just be in front of my uh, face all the time, no matter where I move my head. So sorry if the mic keeps on going up and down. I'm not entirely happy with this microphone, and I'd like to replace it. So, yeah, shout out if things are getting really annoying or if your volume controls have to be crazy because you can't hear me. Um, that's good feedback. And I have noticed in some of the uh, playbacks as well that I'm getting that issue. So, yeah, there's, there's not much I can do at the moment. might look into the drivers for it or something it's a it's basically the microphone from a raising razor kraken headset uh how are we doing here i reckon we'll be able to keep that shield down that's gonna be all armor in the middle no that looks like walkway that's armor that's walkway I think it should be vulnerable kind of from a shot like this. Definitely vulnerable from behind, so I might release the missiles. Just while we get the ship coming down here. Here they come, slamming into the sides a bit. Oh, this is a missile one as well, okay. Uh, we are getting hammered. We need to rotate like so. Don't shoot out my reactor. They actually shoot out my disruptors. That's a pain, but not fatal. Uh, the Kestrel, you're just going to go for the money shot, I think. So if we can take out this, that'll take out a couple of their bigger guns. Yeah. Aim and fire for effect. Nice. Uh, all right, we're going to disassemble that because I think I'm going to need it to properly repair. So that same pirate, I think. Yeah, I think we're okay. As long as he doesn't turn down towards me, it might be a different pirate. Uh, I don't think he's going to turn for me. Yep, we're, we're all fine. Mental note that Trodoc is not safe to travel this route. Alright, that's all repaired. So that seems to be my weak point that they're going for. What I could do is move this disruptor up one because we can move this ammo back. Actually, yeah, let's make some on-the-fly modifications. We're in blueprint mode. Let's turn on mirror mode. Move this up to here, move this up to here, up. And what this will allow us to 
do is give us some better armoring. Disruptor should be easier to take out, but it's going to armor up the path to that reactor a little bit better. So I think that's going to be a good trade. Now I'm probably going to have to change my settings here. Yep, you're going to power that. Pardon me. And you're also going to crew that. And that should mirror it. Yep, it has good back to pulling this apart and replenishing our ammo stocks. Good deal. We'll mark the wreck and continue on. Uh, the, uh, just thinking about it, Anthony, as well, the other thing might be that okay, I've just noticed then occasionally I am kind of muttering to myself rather than actually projecting into the microphone. So that could also be the issue here. <laughs> Which is my bad, sorry guys. Uh, he's making a beeline for us. We just see how this goes. He starts pursuing. Then I mutter a lot. Yeah, it's not that then. Oh, come on, man. What are the odds in the middle of deep space that that happens? Uh, before the next stream, then, I'm going to check to see if there's maybe some... Um, uh, what's the word? Drivers. Drivers for the headset that I haven't updated to or something along those lines that might be causing the issue. And I might do some constructive Googling to see if I can find if other people have had this same complaint. I have noticed it for work purposes as well, uh, where suddenly I'll go quiet um, in a meeting when I'm speaking and people will let me know, which is hugely frustrating when I know that the, the microphone is, it's not even the width of my thumb between my, um, my mouth and the actual receiver. Cool, all right, we've got some pay, uh, payments already, which is more fame. Apparently there's an unknown contact approaching the station as well. I've never actually seen a pirate come in and attack a station. I'm kind of curious to see if that will happen. This is a level 10 station, so it should be able to defend itself pretty well. We'll just see if we can lure him in. No, Kestrel's too slow. Lie and wait for him, maybe. You've seen it many times? Okay, so they do do it then. Just see if the owl can get some more crew. We want an exploration uh, exploration mission too. All right, we're at max crew for the owl, and we can now hire up to ooh seventeen souls. I think we can crew the Ares if we build it. Chuck them on the Tro dock instead. He can start making hypercoils. Um, let's think. I'm going to go wait for that pirate. Because I don't want it sneaking up behind me. Here he comes. Maybe it's a different pirate, because... Uh, 
Really? Come back. I want to love you. Yep, definitely a bit more dangerous. Or more populated with pirates, at least. Send the owl down, like so. Yeah, that unknown contact. Yeah, uh, you could say that I just want to rail it. That's all, Kestrel just wants to rail it. Okay. Ooh, this is it. Whoa. This looks like a caterpillar from hell, right? Unfortunately for said caterpillar, missiles are explosive. So it is going to have a bad time of this fight. All we're going to do is aim for this ammo stock here, and it should chain react down the length of the ship, blowing out most of it. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, did a fair bit. The owl, in the meantime, will take a bit of hits. We'll set its own missiles here, and the Kestrel can target the next set of missile storage. Okay, I see how it is. The owl's going to do a fairly credible job warding that off, so I think instead the Kestrel should actually target the cockpit and just try and go for the kill. Getting any more damage on it? No. Not yet. Try and maintain this distance now. And try and maintain targeting. I think we have found as well our uh, screenshot for this. Uh, where is it? Print screen. Ah, oh, I didn't save the previous print screen. Oh well. That'll be on camera. I should be able to grab it off the replay. Q. Uh, no, no secondary shot there, Kestrel. Just need to angle it in. Yeah, we're starting to do some damage now. We have taken a little bit ourselves, notably that PD. Kestrel should have shot by now. Uh, why not? Only one railgun is ready, but that was all that we needed. I think that's the other thing we could do with the Kestrel, is upgrade its railgun properly. Oh, we lost a wing! No! 
Can we reattach? <laughs> Please? <laughs> we have two L Mark IVs now. Oh man. What what blew the mid reactor? Managed to borrow through there. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> um think so it can repair all for this just this part of the ship Anthony uh, you played this more than I have can you reattach a ship <laughs> um, <laughs> no I think if I abandon this? Not at this moment. Alright. Ah, uh, but if there was ever a screenshot that we needed to take, then I feel like um, this is the one. And we can... Uh, oh, actually, I need the UI for just a second more. Turn that off. Print screen, and yeah, the uh, the owl blowing apart. I'm just going to quickly save that screenshot so that we have it. There we are, all safe and sound. I can't lose that one. Cool. Okay, so how can we deal with this one? Um, I think if we abandon this, we should get a full refund on these parts because I bought it. Or, yeah, if we go into mode here. Let's think this through. I want it to have not connected. Yeah, because it doesn't have a cockpit. Maybe. No, no, that's it. Cool, all right. Uh, so if I do that, and then that, and then I put an airlock in, so people can get out. And we're gonna grab some corridor, and connect that to the rest of it. And then we are going to start selling things. Beds. Oops, I think I did an oopsie there. Alright, that's fine. Just need to make sure I think that there's a way for everyone to to get out. Do that. Still connected. And we need a way for these guys to get out. No? There you go, guys. Do that. And then that. Oops. It's meant to be selling, not other stuff. Alright, then that's just full of resources now, and I should have got a ref full refund for most other things. Cool. Now we'll tell them to abandon ship. No, not quite yet. I want the owl to move back a little bit. So it has the space. Alright. We abandon ship now. No. No, we need to repair first. 
so that these guys have a place to go when we abandon the ship. a little bit inconvenient. Insufficient steel, all right. Uh, can someone please solve these fires too? Okay, so that's abandoned. Oh, that's got everything we want out of it. So we will now tell to abandon ship tell that to pull it apart, Kestrel can start pulling apart this guy, which will have probably all the steel I need as well. And with any luck, I can just make sure that I grab all my stuff before anyone dies. Yeah, they're all helping. That's the main thing I would want to see if I get resource bins. Airlock, oh, crew quarters, really important. Fix those two. I mean, it's better than the whole ship blowing up, but Jesus, it's a lot of mess to clean up here. So confident too that we're doing good. Got nothing to worry about now. And the game just smashed me for it. Uh, have you pulled apart the reactor? Yes, it has pulled apart the reactor. Do we have enough uranium? No. But it looks like it's picked up all its crew that it can. Unless these are my guys and I don't know it. That's a possibility. Fortunately, the base is just up here. So we don't have far to go. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to catch me now. Actually, I will mark that area as a wreck because there is a little bit left to pick up, I think. You know what? The Kestrel Mark III can turn around and just take a shot at this guy because we're going to be... Oh, you don't have the processes or the tri te tri steel. Really? Trodoc, what you got in store, man? You got both of it. All right. Do a jump for us. Yeah, here we go. There is a blacksmithing. Ooh, here's a, here's a humdinger. Uh, we actually want the Kestrel over here, I think. And can we shoot off his back? That would be, just be somewhat hilarious. Aim that way. No, I don't think we're going to be in range. 
Nope. Should have kept my bearing. Alright, chat to this. Might as well grab the extra fame and the money. Yeah, can't hire it because they can't actually get to where they need to go. So we need to wait for the trade off to come in. And now we can repair the ship. No, we can't because we still don't have enough fissiles. Really? What kind of marketplace are you, sir? We'll uh, grab the uranium. We'll grab the one thing that we can buy from them. Looks like we'll have to wait for a trader or some thing like that. Unless we want to go out mining. We go mining around this area, it's pretty clear now. We have that pirate just still sneaking about. His face on. I don't really want to bring the owl into action until we've got that second engine online. If we can possibly avoid it. But we may not to be able to, so I'm just going to get him ready. Kestrel is going to run over here. Because if it's going to get a shot here, then it's going to do so as it passes by. Got him! Ah. Oh. Right in the backside. We will just run the Trodoc out here, along with the Kestrel for escort. And we'll go pick that up. Yeah, that's what's going to happen to you if you buzz the station here. That's going to be a nice haul of goodies too. Some pieces here. Just speed it up. That's a decent sized reactor as well. It's a medium, so we should have a decent amount of fissile material, and that might solve my problem. Uh, how are we doing on time, though? It is a Sunday night for me, which means that I'll be start running low on time now. Look like there's going to be anything else that's particularly special. There is another pirate doing its run. Just bear the kestrel, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Yeah, he's just chilling. Pirate be just chilling. It is making me think that this is not an area that I just want to leave the Trodoc in, though. It's kind of like a bad neighbourhood. Uh, you got seven uranium now, you reckon, in stock. So clearly there's been some kind of trader. See, this is why the owl turns into a derp without these things. It needs its, there we are, needs its other wing functional. Grab your dudes, dude. How 
a chat here, we can actually probably get a fully uh, crewed Trodoc as well. Close to. Cool. Alright, we have achieved pretty much the goal that I was hoping for, I believe. Uh, not quite. We need to get to prominent is the idea of this particular stream. And then that will allow us to have the Aries. Uh, in theory, in practice, we'd need more stuff to go off and mine. Hmm, pardon me. Um, yeah, I want to get another ship into the mix sooner rather than later, I think, to help out with these larger targets. So I think that is what we're going to do. We're going to aim for an Ares. And then we might aim for a second owl, Mark IV. Or we might do something else entirely. So on that basis, I want to go to a safer place in the overall map to be doing my mining. There is a pirate base down here as well that we can take out. I have cleaned up all these, but I don't think I've taken these wrecks yet. And there's a few asteroid fields, and I haven't just I haven't done normal mining basically, and I'm going to need to do a heap of it. It's uranium that I'm really missing at the moment, though. All right, the first step though is to get everyone down here. And then I think we will call it for tonight. All right, so thank you very much for watching. We have achieved a little bit of fame tonight, which I'm very happy about. We have properly crewed vessels. We're going to destroy that as soon as we put in the Ares, but this is where we are going to leave the second stream for the game, uh, for the day, not the game. <laughs> And yeah, thanks again for people for watching. Anthony, sorry it was uh, short and sweet, dude. I know that you like the longer streams and that you came in a little bit later tonight. But you, you picked up most of it, to be honest. We've only been going for an hour or so. So thanks again, folks. Uh, I will be releasing this one out during the week uh, so that I can kind of space my contact on YouTube. Good night, and see you again in the next stream. Bye now.